Stephen, year in, year out, your boys just managed to get it done here. You left it to the last possible minute. So your thoughts overall, relief more so than anything else? Uh, yeah, exactly, yeah. You know, um, we didn't play we didn't play well. We played well in patches. Uh, you know, we started very, very well, you know, controlled the game for the first 50 minutes, went five and up. But then we just started to hand over the ball just so, so easily. But, you know, thankfully, you know, that's something that we're going to be able to reflect on with, uh, I suppose, a different perspective uh, as, we, as we head toward the 13th of May. You started the game so well and that went out of it completely. Donegal took over. I think it was a scoring run of about eight points to one at one yeah. stage. So you, you really had to dig it out and turn it around. Yeah, and look, you know, it, it, it's a little bit cliched, but knew that there'd be a big fight in the lads, knew that, you know, resilience, all the, the sort of buzzwords you want to use, but, you know, they had to back themselves and with six minutes to go, we found ourselves at the same margin as half time. And, you know, we had done a lot of well, but we had sort of missed one or two sort of chances that maybe... You know, we just sort of clutching at, um, and luckily we stayed in it. The likes of Owen O'Donoghue and Kevin and Paddy, Paddy, uh, Paddy Dirk and all those lads stood up to to the challenge, and um, you know that's that that, that gives us uh, good momentum now. Looking forward to the championship. Now that you have done it and you have managed to stay in Division One, what does it mean to you? Like, what would have meant today if you, if you'd gone down? I guess it's easier to maybe reflect it now that you've got the job done. Um, I suppose it. it you know, we would have probably. Uh, We've been obviously hugely disappointed because um, you know this group, uh, as, they, as they commenced, they played all their football in Division One, and the jersey was handed to them in Division One, and it was something that we probably spoke a little bit about during the week. That you know that's part of you know the the ownership that you have while you're here is that you hand that jersey on in the same in better condition than a uh, than you than you received it, and um, you know we would have been hugely disappointed. Um, and look. The reality is that we're not happy with that performance. Mm. We're happy with, with, with the score um, and we're happy to move on now towards the 13th of May and we've, what we know is going to be an almighty battle. It's kind of a theme of your time as Mayo manager. More often than not, far more often than not, you're reflecting on the resilience and the character of the team as a positive rather than the levels of the performance. And like last year, I guess you're just hoping that at some stage when the chips are really down, that the level of performance does come up to where it needs to be so you can get over some of these major hurdles you have to get over in the next few months. Yeah, well, I think what we have, you know, got to be cognizant there. We're missing, I think, maybe seven seven mm. guys, six guys, definitely, that started the All-Ireland Final. And, you know, well, Whilst we have a we have a really good pool of talented guys who don't have a huge amount of experience, but what you saw there is the likes of you know Michael Hall, Owen O'Donoghue, as we said, Fergal Ball and Conor Loftus really standing up now yeah. when, the, when, when the back's against the wall. So um, you know that's only going to come with throwing the guys into the in, into that fire, uh, and it wasn't going to be pretty. We said that at the very outset of the league, like that we were going to be it was going to be a very challenging period. Um, but look, you know we've we've been really really competitive in all games bar last week, and I do genuinely believe that that was an outlier for us. Um, we're certainly a lot better than, than what we put into uh, or what we got out of last week. Um, and again, you know, it's a turn of the page in the season. You know, we just absolute focus now um, on Galway. So finally, how do you feel about that now that you've got this really tough seven weeks out of the way and you know what you're dealing with now in terms of the personnel you have available? Yeah, we're really looking forward to the challenge, I suppose. At this juncture, maybe the, the, the second best team in, in, in the country and, uh, you know, their league performance have been, you know, really, really impressive. Um, but we know what we're going to be coming up against and uh, we look forward to that challenge.